Hello, my name is James Wisser of Acid Yellow. I'm an Iron Speed MVP, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom page styles, or otherwise known as design themes, in Iron Speed version 10. So, in order to answer the question of how to build or design custom page styles or design themes, we must first understand what a design theme or page style actually is. Both design themes, page styles, however you, you choose to refer to them, are effectively the very top layer of your presentation layer. Uh, they provide the look and feel of your application throughout the app um, in terms of the they're constructed uh, various different components, uh, namely the CSS definitions of the different classes within your pages, as well as image files uh, which are picked up from the images folder within your application. And together they build the look and feel of every part of the construction of your pages. So if I move across into Iron Speed Designer itself now, there are the two different components as I was referring to, which effectively together combined constitute a, a design theme or a page style. But before we do that, we're going to see the normal way that you would first begin to interact with your page styles or design themes. And we're going to go to the application wizard at the top of our menu here. And when we select our wizard, you'll see that the very first stage of that wizard, and I'm sure this is horribly familiar to you, uh, is the selection of the page style for our application. Uh, so over here on the left, I can click through and you'll see as I click the different options which are presented to me on the left, I get an image refreshing in the middle of the page there, showing me what the different design themes will look like. So these are different design themes. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many ship with the product by default these days, uh, but it, there's certainly 20 odd that you could select from. Now in this case, we've obviously built an application or selected the Amarone theme or page style. Um, let's move on to the question of quite why you would want to go ahead and build your own customized page style or design theme uh, rather than just using the ones that have been supplied to you. So if you were to build an application for your own use or for a client, for example, um, it may well be that in, in so doing, you would obviously choose the design theme from here, which clo most closely reflected the ultimate look and feel that you were looking to achieve. Because you'd only be building a single application, it would make sense for you to modify the look and feel of that application as you go. Um, the real benefit of building a custom page style or design theme comes in to you or is useful to you when you're attempting then to build multiple applications using that same style or look and feel. Uh, and in that situation, it would make sense for you to customize and build that design style before you build any of your applications. And I'm going to show you then how, having done that, how to include that page style directly into the wizard that you're looking at here, such that you can just select it and, and go about your business of generating the application. So let's close that wizard for a moment. And as you may well be aware, within your application explorer, your, the design theme of the page style is constructed from two different components. In one component within the app themes folder, we will have another folder for the theme that we selected when we generated the application. And within there, there are two files, the base style CSS file and the style CSS file. Now, one of those, the base styles file, is the file that would come or be shipped, if you like, or included into the application with that theme by default. And it contains all of the CSS classes for your entire application. The styles file, by default, when you generate a new application, will always be empty. And that's where you would be placing any CSS overrides that you would make. So when your application is running, uh, effectively your app or your pages, when they're looking for the definition of any of the CSS classes, will always look in the styles file first. And then if they fail to find them, then they would look into the base styles area. Um, so that's one of the areas that the theme it, information is being supplied into your application. The other is the images folder. And you can see if I click on some of them, they may not look terribly useful. In the vast majority of cases, these images are quite small. You can see them being displayed almost like a live preview at the top there. Now, they also differ depending on which theme you've got because those images, the, the coloration of those images or the coloring is chosen or designed to reflect the CSS 
colors and design that's also been used. So this is not, if we're going to change and build our own custom theme, we need to move outside of designer before we move into designer um, to apply it. So if we come away from designer into our designer installation folder, and you can see here I'm in the C program files iron speed directory, and within there I've got my designer 10.0.1 installation folder, and in there very helpfully there is a folder called design themes. If I click into there, you can see that I then have a folder for all of the different design themes which are available to me at generation time. Now, actually, the first process of creating the design theme is very simple. I'm simply going to copy one of the folders. In this case, of course, it's the Amaroni folder that I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste the entire folder straight back into here and then rename it. And in this case, I'm going to rename it Whistler. If I now go into my Whistler folder, I can amend any of the files which are in here with a degree of impunity because I know I'm not affecting anything of my original installation. If you do make a complete mess of this, of course, you can just pop back into your design themes, themes folder rather and delete the entire folder. And you know that you haven't adversely impacted anything about your original installation. Now in here, there are a number of different files. But the main files that you're going to be attempting to play with or change to in order to customize them to look like your your chosen design is the base styles file here and then those image files that we were looking at earlier. So let's open up this base styles file and you can see in here this is filled with CSS definitions as I was referring to every single CSS class that exists within your application is contained within this one document. You can change any of them here. Now because we're creating our own custom theme you can ignore this comment at the top saying not to modify this file. That really does apply in the scenario that we were looking at earlier where you're within your own application already and you don't want to override the base styles within that single application. But in this case because we're going to be changing uh, the, the CSS globally for our entire theme we can go ahead and make any amendments that we would want to within the base styles file directly. Something that you'll also notice in here, background images are also being specified at this point within the CSS. Uh, so that gives you an indication of how those files link together, the CSS and the image files that we were looking at earlier. So you could then go ahead and you could make any of the changes that you wanted to make uh, to the base styles file there. You'll also see here there are two other files, base styles left to right and base styles right to left. They are very closely uh, closely defined to each other and they're clearly there for left to right or versus right to left language support. Uh, you may be aware you cannot currently mix uh, the left to right and right to left qualities of an application uh, within a single application. Uh, so depending on which language uh, areas you're having to support, um, you will only need to change one of those files rather than both. Okay. If I click into the images folder, the complete catalog of images which I was referring to are available in here. And I switch over to look at a, a theme of view rather where we can see the icons. Um, there are all of the icons in here. Now there are an awful lot of them. Um, that may come as no surprise to you. Uh, you are entirely within your rights to open these up then within Photoshop and try to change them in terms of color. But I would suspect that you will be horribly aware as you flick through here and see how many of these there are, um, that something like changing the coloring of these images may well present you with a, a significant piece of work. There are ways around that. Uh, for example, there will be nothing to stop you if you wanted to go with the Amarone theme largely, for example, because you like the brown or coffee color, but you wanted blue buttons, then by all means pop over back to your design themes folder and go into one of the other themes where you know that the buttons are a closer match to what you're looking for um, and copy all of them. Uh, so within your own folder, once you're here, you are entirely at liberty to play with it as you like without any risk of damaging anything. You'll also notice in here there's a thumbnails folder, which there's one image in here, which you can see. 
that gives you really the uh, the image that's presented to you when you select your theme within the wizard. Uh, so please don't be frightened or, or shocked if you make significant changes to your CSS and to your image files. Uh, when you move back into the product uh, and you go to click on your new WYSI design theme, uh, you may look and see that it looked very much like it used to and, and recoil with horror as though your work's been lost. Um, that isn't the case at all. It's simply that this is the image that gets presented. So by all means, you could go ahead and create your own uh, PNG file to go in there to replace it to give you a more accurate representation of what your theme may look like. Um, but certainly you, you haven't lost any of your work. Uh, it's just there to give you an, an indicator rather than anything else at runtime. So if we move back to the product now, moving back into our speed designer, of course, we're still looking at all the images which we were previously, collapse that up. If I now go back into my application wizard, you will see in my list that I have a Whistler style. So having built your custom design theme or design or page style, it's as simple as going back into the wizard, selecting it and generating your application. Of course, you, you, or you may not be aware, but you can retrospectively apply changes of page style to an already generated application. So if you did do work uh, building a custom design theme or page style, there'd be nothing to stop you then going back and revisiting earlier applications, uh, selecting it simply in the wizard there and being confident that those changes would then be applied across your entire generated application. So I hope that's been useful and, and made you realize quite how simple it is to change uh, your theme. The hard work is actually in uh, doing the graphical work and making the application or the design look good rather than uh, getting it into a, a kind of custom environment that designer can use usefully. Thanks for watching.